so it's <clears throat> 6 a.m. I'm drinking my coffee. I started having a complete cookie. My poles are tucked into the side of my backpack as I walk. I have four liters of water. I'm trying to navigate this dark, desolate, um, desert. <laughs> it, last night when we started, it was easy to see the signs, but I haven't been able to see any signs. So I've been having to check the map more often and also just really pay attention to this little footpath you can kind of see. Um, but speaking of which, it's been a little while, so I should check the map. Oh, I was definitely off trail by kind of a lot, so I had to just walk towards the trail on the map, and thankfully it appeared. <laughs> so I still don't see the next post, and normally it's like, or last night, or yesterday morning, like our lights would reflect off the next post like really easily. So I think I kind of see one off in the distance, but not that close. Good morning. Um, whew, I'm still waking up, it seems like. It's 6.30. I wasn't at the camp until 6 today, roughly. Um, it's okay though, because Leah went on ahead last night and I didn't think anyone else was gonna get up as early as I did and I heard a lot of coyotes last night so I wasn't like too eager to start night hiking by myself, especially when it wasn't like a road walk or anything. It's just like navigating sign by sign through the brambles. <laughs> um, so anyways, I have a 19.7 mile day to the next water cache. I have four liters of water because I didn't want to drink out of water tanks. So I guess it's like pick your poison because right now it's I have a heavy pack and I could have, you know, alleviated that by just, you know, just sucking it up and filtering some icky but drinkable through filtered <laughs> water. Uh, so my foot is cramping right away. That kind of sucks. Um, it's like my right foot, the one that's been having the most issues. Um, it's just It's like a Charlie horse in the middle of my foot. So I don't know, I forgot to take ibuprofen um, in my tent this morning, like right when I got up. So I just took some a little bit ago. So hopefully that'll help, but it's mostly just, well, for like to, for the anti-inflammation because I think that's part of the problem. So anyways, I'm just trying to get used to it and like, try not to think about it too much because I don't think it's getting worse, but I might just take like more breaks today and rub it out. It's probably in more pain because I have more weight. Um, but I don't know. So it, the cloud cover looks really nice and it's been really peaceful. I only saw one set of eyes. <laughs> as I was walking. I don't know what it was. Probably something like a jackrabbit or something. It was small. Um, I don't think it was a coyote. Um, 
and yeah, I, I hope the clouds stay all day. That would be so wonderful. But it's so pretty out here, just wide open. Here, I'll flip the camera. It's just so peaceful. You can see some mountains off in the distance over there. But they kind of dip down so you can't see too far out. I'll probably pop back up and I'll be able to see more soon. I started listening to Harry Potter, I think two days ago. Yeah, on my really bad day. <laughs> the last like three or five miles, I was like, I'm just going to try to zoo, like focus in on this audio book that helped me get through the mosquitoes in Oregon. So I started listening to that on the second day. And also, actually, on the second day, I listened in the morning. I, I listened to most of the book, Women Who Run With Wolves, which is a book I'll probably keep listening to. Um, it's only a couple hours long, and it's, um, yeah, it's like myths and, myths and, myths and stories of, the Wild Woman Archetype is the subtitle, and I really like it. <laughs> so, I listened to that, and then I listened to Harry Potter, but that's about it so far. Like, I haven't really listened to music, or podcasts, or anything. Um, just of been either silent or chatting with people or yeah so we'll see what I listen to today <laughs> hey a sign always a comfort okay More later. I have to go through this hole in the fence. <laughs> Tried to find a better spot, but I don't think this is it. Too bad. <sighs> I'm off trail again a little, but I can see the post down there. See it down there. So as soon as I get to it, it will be easier to find the trail. Right now it's just like yeah. Like this. So as long as I don't step on something like that, I'll be fine. Ah, oh, so pretty. The overcast. I'm not baking. Yay. <laughs> Looks like the trail's going right for this cow. Oh, actually, on Gut Hook, I saw that there was a dead cow last year. That must be this pile of bones. Look at that cow. Whoa. I hope that he's chill. Or she's chill. Go 
Good morning, cow. Hello. How are you doing? You're so pretty. You're right on the trail, cow. Did you know that? You're right on the trail. Can you go? Should I go or should you go? Hmm. What do you think? I guess I'll go. You're much bigger than me. I'll go. Oh, hello. You want me to back away? Do you want me to back away? I'm sorry, cow. Can I go this way? Can I go this way, cow? Is that okay? Don't worry. I come in peace. Hello. Hello. Please don't hurt me. Hello, cow. Goodbye, cow. Well, that was a little scary. Look, he's still watching me. Now I'm not even on trail. Oops. Bye. Scary. Oh man, I need to find the trail. <laughs> I just took a little screen recording of getting back on trail. I'll overlay it here. I bet that cow's still watching me. He is. Look way over there. There he is. I'm climbing over this fence. Lots of random things today. So early. So early in the morning. Oh. And now I think it's this way. Uh, oh yeah, look at this trail, you see it? Yeah, that looks like a nice trail. Maybe. Where's the post? There's the post. There's the post, way up there. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel like Heidi today. I mean, it's been nice, you know, I'm known as Heidi out here and Heidi for Heidi Child of the Mountains after the novel slash cartoon. Um, and so it's like, oh, like I love being called by that now and just like, oh yeah. But I don't know, this morning, I think because the clouds, I, and like the random fence hopping things and <laughs> just like feeling, like, oh, just like happy, I don't know, and feeling like I'm tuning into my Heidi Child of the Mountain spirit. <laughs> so that's nice. I'm gonna eat some Ritz crackers and enjoy this feeling and pray that the overcast stays all day. Another fence to jump slash scoot under, but this one looks like a pretty good hole, so shouldn't be too challenging. <laughs> oh, <sighs> made it. Oh, so heavy. My goodness. Kind of hard to see, but there is a. Yep, see that little spike in there? It's 
it is. Let's see if I put it in the sun, you can see. Oh yeah. That was poking through my shoe. And actually I broke this little tip off of it. Like, or poking through this part when I would push down hard for the past couple days. It was like sticking out like almost that much. So good thing I took this out to find it because eventually that would have really stabbed my foot. So I'm pulling it out with some tweezers. Now, yeah, another fence to get over. I'm gonna toss my bag over and then s sneak through. <sighs> So glad I'm not drinking out of that. Let me take a picture if you think it's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> just off trail way over there navigated back to the trail here oh that was kind of annoying but oh well it happened not too bad overall coming up on some really cool rock formations Ooh, first little climb <laughs> So I guess we're gonna go in between that um, pyramid shaped mountain, like on this side of it, and then whatever else is after this little hill. So some pretty interesting landscapes today. And of course the breeze picks up as soon as I turn on the camera. But yeah, it's been a good day so far. It's 11.42. A lot of cows. Hi, cows. Hello. So cute. We're passing Pyramid Peak now. <laughs> well, my head looks crazy. <laughs> um, oh, it's down to the last three miles of the day, so my feet are screaming at me and I should take a break. But it's hard to take a break when I'm so close. But I probably will. It's really windy. It feels good, but it's also kind of like hard to walk probably hard to hear me.
I made it to camp. It's 2.40. I laid out my ground sheet, which I'm so glad I bought and I have. And I am under my umbrella and I'm just hiding from the sun and the wind. But the wind feels good, but the sun came out and is now baking. This is what I look like. So happy to be at camp ah, to rest my feet. Getting my tent set up in the wind, in the strong wind. <laughs> how crazy my tan is on my hands. I wasn't wearing my sun gloves the per first few days and I got really sunburned, so I wore them today. But still, like, oh my goodness, that is crazy. Ooh, I'm looking pretty rough. My eye is sunburned, which sucks. My sunglasses don't give enough coverage, but that's okay. Um, I'll try to fix it somehow. <sighs> Going into town tomorrow should be fun. I'm only like a little less than seven miles away at a water cache. home for the night.